We'll resume our flow with the shoulders by bringing the hands to prayer, bringing the heart forward, and settling the knuckles against our chest bone. I'd like an imagery of a flower to help guide you in this path. Think of on the inhale as we start from a seed that we're going to sweep and gather energy around us and bring it overhead and make a bud. Then on the exhale, we'll open to a flower. We'll inhale and radiate upward, and then exhale, and we'll close that flower down. Then we'll inhale and bring the energy back to the base, and with the exhale, bring the pinkies, palms, forearms, and elbows together and bring it back to heart and make a new seed. Inhale, sweep and make a bud. Exhale, open and make a flower. Inhale and radiate. Exhale and close. Inhale, return and exhale, complete the sides coming together and back to heart. Again, inhale, engage your shoulder blades. Exhale, keep them engaged. Radiate and pinch the shoulder blades. Close the flower and release the shoulder blades. Inhale, bring everything back in line. And exhale, make your seed. And rest. One more beautiful bud on the inhale. Exhale, flower. Inhale, radiate. Exhale, close. Inhale, return. Exhale, complete. And rest. Very nice. I'm going to slide forward on the chair just a little bit. And we'll practice what's called flexion and extension. Flex means to close down. Extension means to open and lengthen. If you draw your belly under and round your back, that's flexing. If you pinch your shoulder blades together to open the chest and lengthen the spine, that's extension. So let's play with that. Feet flat, two fists apart, elbows by the ribs. Press the feet, push the tail, extend the heart up, pinch the shoulder blades. Exhale, roll the tail forward, bring the belly back, widen the shoulders, drop the chin. If you use your limbo bar, you can roll underneath it and then away from it as you exhale. You use the shoulder blades over the bar on the inhale, you can open the heart. If you release the shoulder blades and close the front body on the exhale, you release the bar. Either way, lengthen with the inhale and release with the exhale. And rest. Let's widen the feet just a tiny bit. And we'll do a swaying movement with the hips and the shoulders to broaden our extension and flexion. 
You'll come up to your right on the inhale, sweep across the front to the left, exhale back to the left, and then finish to the right. Ready? Creating a swaying, hip generated, shoulder finishing movement where the tail goes back on the inhale, the heart comes forward, exhale, the shoulders release, the belly comes back. Play with a slow flow, breath driven. And then on your next inhale, reverse direction. Keep breathing. One more. Settle back to neutral. Let's come back to mountain. Roll it out. Adjust your props as you use them. And we're going to play with the hip socket just a little bit. I'd like you to step on the left foot and then just lift the right and roll the knee, sort of painting a circle on the screen. Try to stay tall in the spine, reverse direction. Keep breathing. Settle, reverse side. Reverse. And rest. We'll open the hip space a little bit more by resting the ankle on the knee. You can use a prop, such as the pillow, to just even rest the foot that way. That could be enough. Sometimes you can create a prop that rests it this high. So use your judgment and you'll see what your body tells you and feel it. Let's just start by transferring this foot over onto the knee and thigh, settling the elbow, placing the hand on top of the knee. Draw the standing foot down and come up with an inhale and exhale. Just rest, in this case, the right hand, your right hand, on the left knee, your right hand on the knee. Come on up. Keep breathing. Just try to gently nudge the space open. You can release, come up, hold the pose. Make it a static pose or an active pose. Let the breath drive your movement, give you feedback into any strain, and be gentle. One more breath. And then let's release and shake it out. Let it settle. Roll the shoulders. Good. Let's go to the other side. I have a definite difference. I've got to bring my body around a little bit more. The angle may be dramatically different from one side to another. Let's settle on the exhale. Relaxing if you need to. Over time, your body may shift. You may feel releases in different parts of your spine. Try not to strain in the neck. Just staying nice and relaxed and centered. One more breath. Great, let's shake it out and bring it down. Let's roll the shoulders. 
We'll practice a little side bend before we do a little twisting. Let's come to prayer. Take a sweep on the inhale. And we'll do what's called crescent pose. A gentle side bend to the right, your right. Keep the body tall. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale. Gently tip. Keep that trailing left foot nicely grounded to the floor. Good. Lower it down. Let's go the other way. As you tip to the left, keep the right foot grounded down. Notice if your neck is bending or if the side part of your body is bending. Bring it down, roll it around. Hmm, nice. All right, we'll continue with a gentle twist. We'll use the chair and its different angles and positions as part of our balance. I'm gonna slide forward and what I'm going to do is take my left hand and just rest it on the inside of my left thigh. I'm going to take my right hand and place it along my waist, similar to where the lumbar limbo roll was. Let me show you. Hello there. This helps keep the front part of my body open on the right side. I'm going to keep the elbow tucked by my ribs on the left. On the inhale, I'll extend my spine. Exhale, just turn my heart to the right. Inhale, come back. Exhale. Continuing. Notice that my knees are shifting. The hips are shifting. Let's release it and switch sides. Right hand, inner right thigh, left hand behind the back. Look. Come on up. Exhale. Lead with the heart, not with the head. One more. Beautiful. Shake it out. I'm going to stand and show you the finale. And then let's clasp the hands. Notice. Then let's lengthen on the inhale. And then exhale. Lift the hands away from your back. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back ribs. Head is over the spine and breathe. Notice which thumb is on top. Lower the hands. Switch the clasping of the hands so the other thumb is on top. Inhale the spine. Exhale, lift the hands away from your body and breathe. Relax the neck. One more breath, and gently lower. Let's return to the chair. Ah, I hope your desk side wellness has improved. Let's take some cleansing breaths and direct it to three parts of our being. Let's come to prayer, and let's take a sweep overhead Bring the energy down the heart channel and breathe some energy to our bodies. And another nice full breath down the heart channel and breathe some space into our minds. And one more breath 
down the heart channel. Let's pause, bow briefly, and breathe into the back body. Fill the space around our hearts with compassion for ourselves and others. Thank you for sharing. See you soon. Namaste.